Hello and welcome to day 11 of your 30-day yoga challenge. We're going to do today uh, two rounds of the Sun Salutation A and then the uh, pose for today is the extended intense side angle. So coming to the front of the mat, keep your feet nice and close together, slight softness in the knees, drop the tailbone down as you tilt the pelvis forward to engage your core. Let's breathe in, taking the arms up to a mountain pose, Tadasana. And then as we exhale, we come into our full forward bend. Stretching all the way down, folding over the knees. We then breathe into our halfway lift. Flat back position here, the neck is neutral. As we exhale, take the hands flat to the mat. Step the feet back so that they're in a high plank position and then lower the knees down, release the feet. Keep exhaling all the way down to our low plank position. From here, let's breathe into our upward facing dog. So we're taking the knees off the mat we took the toes under and then we raise our hips to the ceiling as we exhale to our downward facing dog. From here, bend the knees, look forward, step the feet to the hands, we come back to our halfway lift, we breathe in, and then we exhale to our full forward bend. Finish the salutation by coming back to our mountain pose, Tadasana, as we breathe in, swan diving the arms up. We'll do one more salutation here, so moving with the breath this time, really connecting one breath, one movement. So always exhale on the way down, always inhale on the way up. So as we're going down from high to low plank, drop the knees, keep exhaling down to low plank, and then breathe into upward facing dog, before tucking the toes under, going into our downward facing dog. Let's finish the salutation by coming, looking forward, stepping the feet to the hands, breathing in back to our halfway lift, flat back position, exhale to our full forward bend, and then finishing mountain pose, Tadasana. Well done. So we're nice and warm now. Let's go into our intense side angle pose. So we're gonna come into our first position. So the feet are quite wide apart. The front right foot is facing forward, the back foot is at an angle. Arms come up parallel to the floor. Make sure the hips are nice and open, rotating the legs out slightly. Okay, from here we're gonna bend that front knee so that it comes over the ankle. And then from here, we simply take the forearm to the thigh as we start to rotate the other arm overhead, forming a nice straight line from the fingertips through the elbow and the shoulder and the hip down to the leg. So try to avoid being like this, yeah? So often it's quite easy to have that leg a bit straight on that uh, front side. So keep the knee over the ankle and keep that arm over, resting down here. Now a progression from here, and you might want to use a, uh, a block for this, is to come down a little bit further. So you can release your forearm from your thigh and bring your hand onto your block. This will intensify the feeling and the pose and the posture. Again, hold here, allow the body to stretch through the posture. Hold for a few moments and then come back to our five point star and we'll go to the other side. So turning around, front foot facing all the way forward, the back foot have a good distance between and the arms come up parallel to the floor. Keeping the hips nice and open, good distance there. So from here, we're just gonna bend the front knee, lower the forearm to the elbow on this side as you rotate the right arm over. Making sure that you have a nice straight line from the fingertips all the way through to the ankle. Now again, holding here, allow the body to stretch. Keep the breath flowing. To intensify this, what you can do is take your block or your book, whatever you have, and take the hand to the inside of the ankle and then bring this arm around again. So you'll feel more of a stretch here, and it may take you a few goes to actually get to this position. So just work with it. Hold for a few moments, always keep the breath flowing. Then release the arm, come back to five point star, heel toe the feet together, and that's you done for the day. Well done, see you next time.